Welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to cover existing run row schedule in the run row tab of Argus Excel model to show you how to input existing run row and what is happening in the back end. The first tenant is NBC Marketing Services in Suite 100. Obviously, the suite is occupied. The size of the suite is 48,174 square feet. According to the run road, the tenant moved in November 1st, 2002. The lease well expired at October 31st, 2021. I will go back to click on the input list button. A window called run row pops up. I will use this window to input this tenant's existing run row. The column header is year one, year two, and keep going to year eight. The row header is month one, month two, and keep going to month 12. The way I will read this table is the intersection between year one and month one stands for the first month of the first year of my holding period, which is October 1st, 2018. You could revisit my second video in the Argus Excel model series that covers the basic information section to see where I input a deal close date. If I follow this pattern and read the intersection between year one and month two, that white box will stand for November 2018. If I keep counting this way, the last white box stands for October 2021, which is exactly when the existing lease expires. If we close the window and change the lease expiration date to December 21st, 2021, and click the input list button again, I can see two additional white boxes appear at the end to accommodate the extended list term. Just to fully test the power of this user input window, I will extend the lease expiration date for 10 years and bring up the window again. I can see the number of white box increases accordingly so now I know this window will automatically adapt to the change in expiration date. I will set the expiration date back to August 2021 and start inputting the existing run row. The annual rate is $15.50 per square foot. I will make sure I'm inputting the annual rental number rather than the monthly one. I finished defining the rental for NBC in October 2018, and I will move to the next white box and do it for November 2018. Input $15.50 too. I can keep going like this until the last white box, but it is very time consuming. Luckily, there are three buttons on the top. Copy down button, copy across button, copy down and across button. If I click the copy down button, the number in the active Y box will duplicate to the bottom of the column. If I click the copy across button, the number in the active Y box will duplicate all the way across the row. If I click the copy down and across button, the number will duplicate across the board. I'm going to save for now. Click the button and bring up the window again. I can see all the data has been saved. I will do some simple calculation in the white box. $15.50 plus one and hit enter. The calculation is done automatically in the white box. If the rent row tells me the rent is going to be bumped up by $1 in the second year, I will hit the copy down the cross button. Let me close the window and bring it up again to show an easier way to do this. There is the operation white box on the top left corner. Type in plus one and click the calc button in the first row. 
I can see the rent has increased by one dollar in the month one of each year. This is a powerful tool and a time saver. There are 12 calc buttons on the left which correspond to different months to inflate the rent. I will click the save button. This window makes inputting data easier and it stores the data in the tenant monthly tab. I can see the rent schedule is $15.50 per square foot for NBC from October 2018 to September 2019, which is a period of 12 months before it bumps up to $16.50. This is in line with what I previously input in the window. Keep scrolling to the right to make sure everything matches. Rent bumps up to $17.50 in October 2020 and ends in August 2021, which matches what I input in the rent roll tab for lease end date. Let's do the next tenant. 105 for suite number, North America. occupied 2,507 square feet. For the current rent roll, March 1st, 2012 for lease start date and the May 31st, 2020 for lease end date. Click the input lease button Input $15.50, click copy and down and cross. I will say the rent increases by 3% each year, so type in times 1.03. The inflation timing is month 2, so I will click the second calc button. I can see it bumps up to $15.96 in month 2 of year 1 and $16.44 in month 2 in year 2. Click Save. I can go back to the Tenant Monthly tab to check if data is stored properly. North America appears. Everything looks good. For the time being, I'm not going to input all the tenants' information in this video. The rest of the process is largely the same as the first two tenants, except the last four. I will fast forward to the last four suites. According to the current run roll, these four suites are empty. As usual, I will input suite number of 108. The placeholder of the tenant name is vacant. Most importantly, I select zero in the drop-down menu, which stands for status vacant, and the input 188 square feet. For the next tenant, suite number of 110. Tenant name is vacant. Status is vacant. 2038 square feet. The next one, suite number of 202. Tenant name is vacant. Status vacant, 7,875 square feet. The last one, suite number of 365, tenant name is vacant, status vacant, 2,010 square feet. All right, I finished the existing run road input. Thank you for watching this video. I will see you in the next one.